Anthony Yard steps out for business in 2024. Never been frightened of the hard yards. He's gone for the hardest route to the top. That's what has earned him such respect. But no need to exert himself too much getting here tonight. After all, he grew up scarcely 800 yards from where we are tonight at the Copper Box. And indeed, this venue where he took some of the stepping stones to the top and where he returned to top level with a fearsome show of force against Lyndon Arthur. Really top performance that night when it was needed. And Marco Nikolic, so hard to know his true level, but so easy to forecast, I'm afraid, a tough night and maybe even a short one. We shall see. Massive year for him, and he'll want to look good. 
I don't think they'll mind if they get a few rounds of this tonight, Rich. Just that brief, brief excursion against George Silva at Wembley. Deservedly took, what, seven months off after oh. Better BF and that brilliant fight, fight of the year potentially, in the eyes of many. I think you you actually said it was your fight of the year last year. Yeah, it was for me. I thought he really showed his metal in that, in that contest against Baturviev. Um, he was my fight of the year. And the work he's doing here, the, it's, it's the quality of his punching and the speed is much better than Nikolic, um, who, who's struggling straight away with dealing with the, with the speed and the power of uh, Anthony Yard. But when he throws that jab from the waist, it's hard to detect. Oh, right what a shot that was. Had a little recoil effect, didn't it? Yeah, the quality of his work here, Paul, is very good indeed. Speed and accuracy. Nikolic almost professing a, an awe of being in the ring with Anthony Yard, expressing his admiration for him, saying, I've always dreamt of the opportunity to fight a man like Anthony Yard. Perhaps also knowing that the reality is going to hurt a lot more. Hopefully it won't hurt for very long. Well, give him credit, he's not hitting and running, is he? He's having a go here, but he's just been beaten by, um, at the moment, better quality boxing speed in the punch from Yard. The power and the accuracy. Nikolic, Nikolic is really sort of struggling to cope with his opponents here. We'll give him credit, he's not running from Yard. And to pick up from your previous point, Richie, I think one of the things they want to see in the Yard corner tonight is the variety of work, which they've worked so hard on over the last two years, and we are seeing that in this opener. Nikolic. It might be merciful if it is quick. 
yard. So composed. Wants to show case. Showcase is the key word tonight in every way. There's another one underneath. Showcase the talent. And moreover, in addition to the power, showcase the improvement in his general output. The armory is so much more varied these days. That's all the work they've done since that first defeat by Lyndon Arthur. Reprogrammed, rebuilt. They were brave enough to think about what they were doing wrong and address it. James Cook came in as part of the team and you're seeing the fruits of his work alongside Tundi Ajay here. This is a showcase performance from Yard, as they were hoping for. Yeah, good work, good variation, switching the attack, body to head, uppercuts and hooks going in. Fair play to Nikolic. He's having to go back, landing with the odd right hand here and there, but the quality work on the inside from Yard, very good indeed. Unsteady legs, feeling for the canvas with his toes as he goes back. Look at him slump on the stool.